Hey there, I'm Jeff Sweener and welcome to another edition of Pro to Pro. We are on a job site with Mauro and we're going to be looking at a deck that's been here for quite some time. Hey Mauro, how are you? Jeff, how you doing? Good. Usually when I'm on a job and I leave, it's, you know, the deck's brand new, but you're uh, obviously working on something that's been here for quite some time. The homeowner tells me 1999 is original house and looks like uh, one by four mahogany decking that uh, probably hadn't had any treatment to it. Yeah, it doesn't look like. I think the deck has seen better days. So are you going to power wash it or are you going to sand it? No, we're not going to use power wash and I tell you why. Uh, we're going to sand this down and then we'll be ready to finish with the penetrating oil. Right, All right, right. And I show you this. The reason I don't want to power wash this deck is for something like this. Erase the grain, oh, yeah. and this is what the most of the power wash do. Right, when gets underneath that. Right there. And, yeah. So we don't want to go that way. So right. we're just going to send it and get it done. Okay. Right. So I see you got some samples here. Is this what uh, different materials that you're going to do? Absolutely. Yeah, we got three samples here. I start with this one here. This is the EP. Yep. And uh, this is the natural. There's nothing on it. And right. this is the oil, penetrating oil on this side of the, uh, okay. the board. Uh, the EP is there. And then I get another one, which is the mahogany, right. is what we got right here. Okay. Okay. And this is treated with the same penetrating oil, and this is not the oil. Yep. Nice. And I got the third sample for you to take a look at it. Uh, we got a pressure treated. Yep. We get a solid color stain on this side. Right. And over here we get like a semi-transparent stain. Okay. Um, this is how that looks. Nice. Like. Right. Obviously, this is grayed now, but. This is much more natural color. So when, after we sand it, are we going to look back to this? Uh, we're going to look like this here, but once we put the oil, that's the product, the okay. final product right there. Okay. All right. Well, we've certainly used a lot of mahogany. We've used ePay. You know, the nice thing about it is that you can bring it back to life. You Absolutely. Know, we use a lot of composites these days, and they sort of fade out over time, and you, you can't refinish those. Not that one, but this one here, yes, yeah. we can. All right, so what do we got to do? We got to finish setting these nails. Well, we're going to set those nails in and uh, let's get to it. All right. So these nails are stainless steel ring shank nails, all driven by hand. And a few of them have backed out over time. So obviously we got to get those set. Otherwise, they'll tear up the sandpaper. That's it. That's what we're doing this right now. So that's pretty good. That looks I great. see all kinds of color variations. It looks like maybe there was a mat here, there was a mat there. There's so a it, flower pot there. Yeah. Is that all going to come out when we sand it? Everything is going to look uniform, uniform when we sand it down. Yeah, yes. Nice. All one color. All right. So yeah. what's next here? Well, next is clean this deck out. So what we got to do is take it out of there. Put it on the out port. There's a little door there. Connect it. Nice. We can also set the blower power. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there it goes, the yeah. better, right? Well, we're going to sand this anyway. Why go through this step at this point? Well, remember that we clean right in between the, uh, the boards. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in there. This is what we blow it up. Right, right. I want to start to sand it, but it needs to be cleaned first. All right. So you can see better what you're doing. Okay. All right, Mara. So where are we getting started on the sanding? Well, Jeff, we're going to start by sanding all the edges with the walls here around that and around the post. Do all the perimeter first. All the perimeter first. And okay. then we do the fill. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's All get right. to it. Let's do it. We're going to start. I'm going to have you um, work with this one here. It's a okay. small one. So, but we're not going to use this setting. I'm going to just change that for this one here. Okay. okay. You can go. I can under get underneath the, that rail. Underneath then. the rails, around the post. This is good for it. Okay. All right. Just like that. Very nice. Work it. And what there grid are we going to start with? Uh, we're going to start with the 120 grid. Okay. And then we'll see if that does work. If not, we can adjust ourselves. Okay. All right. Let's get that right in there. 
All right, very good. Uh, right here, Jeff, we got three different settings. We got orbital, uh, we got the random orbital, and we got the eccentric, which is very aggressive. Okay. So for this kind of work, we're gonna start with this one here. All right. Okay. So plug her in. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna switch this hose, right? This switch was on this hose. hose. Yep. Move that out. Around. Okay, so you want to hook up the holes. And now uh, we'll plug this in. So you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it? Okay. Yeah, so as soon as you see it going like this, that's the right pressure to go for. Okay, right. Tomorrow, I think 120 is gonna do it. I think so. Look at that. Nice, clean, smooth. I think 120 will do it. But we could go from 40 grit to up to 1500 grit. Wow. But 120 is just what we need. All right. All right. So you got another tool for the other side? Exactly. I got a bigger machine that we can do a lot more work, not on so tight areas like that. Right. Uh, we have two, uh, two settings here. We have the random and we have the eccentric, which is very aggressive. So Jeff, we're gonna match the 120 paper, just like you're doing, Okay. All right? Uh, I'm gonna take this old one, in there, and I have the 120 here. It's important then when you match the holes from the paper with the machine that sucks up all the There's the your dust. vacuum, yeah. Yes. All right, so I see you've got the guard on here, so that's gonna protect the shingles? Absolutely, so we do not want to ruin any shingle. This is what this is for. All right. So we just gotta go like this, and that goes against the shingle without doing any damage to it, Jeff. Nice. Good. All right, Jeff, I'm gonna have a couple guys uh, jump in with us. Okay. Uh, while we're doing the edges, they're gonna do the, the middle. The middle. Yep. And they're gonna have two larger machines and uh, they can do a lot of work faster with us here. Uh, this is, has like a variable speed. Uh, we're going at a speed of three, they can go up to five. Plus we got six inches of coverage as opposed to five, so we're gonna cover that much more. It's gonna go much faster. All right, let's go. All right, Mara, we have four sanders, but only three vacuums. Absolutely. Let's open this up, and I'm going to show you how we're going to share this vacuum. I got a Y here. You got a Y piece okay. in there. Remove that. We got the Y connector right in there, and we'll put a hose right there. Well, Jeff, this is all set. I'm going to take my hose out of this vacuum, and I'm going to join you. Share that one. I'm going to join you right there. Okay. All right, this is Bow Connect. I think we should yep. be ready to go. All right. Wow. All right, Mara, we got it looking pretty good. That looks pretty nice. What are we gonna do about these cracks now? Ha-ha. <laughs> show you this. Check this out. Ah, look at that. 
Gets isn't right a, into those grooves. Isn't that a beard? Beautiful, yeah. V-shape, fits in there, get it clean. All right, let's yeah. give it a whirl. All right, what we gotta do, we're gonna attach, we get rid of this box. We're just gonna fold this paper. Yeah. Let's get right in there. Tie it up nice. Okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna use the same connection, same yeah. hose, same cord, just like we did the, the other machines. Tomorrow we got that down to bare wood in no time. Oh, everything done. Deck is clean. Figure if we have to power wash this thing, we're gonna have to wait about three to four days to dry. Right. And then even that, we have to send the deck over again. This way we get it done in one day. It's Good done. call. We're gonna kill this All right. One so day. what are we putting on here? All right. We have this uh, penetrating oil. This is specifically for redwood, like mahogany, ipe, and it's penetrating. Okay. Uh, the way we apply, we put on. We we'll wait about 15, 20 minutes, and then we we'll wipe the excess with the rag. Okay. Right. Let's see it go. Let's get it going. Okay. It has this brownish color, but there's no pigmentation on it. It's just How about a UV protection? This is very protected by okay. UV. Right. And the way you apply with the, this five inch brushes, you start by cutting around the shingles here. And oh, just. That really brings out the color, huh? Brings right out. Just be generous with the, with the, stand, the, the oil. Make sure every bit is covered. Is this a one coat product? This is one coat process, yes. Okay. So you lay it on heavy and then we wipe it off after a few minutes. Yeah, we'll put on, we'll wait about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll just wet up with a, with a dry rag. Nice. You know, the surprising thing too is that with that dust extraction, we don't have any residue of dust anywhere. So Nothing, it's, uh, you can feel it, you can see it. Go right to Zero it. Zero dust. So how long before uh, the homeowners can walk on this? Well, it's going to take about 15, uh, 12 to 15 hours until it dries the cures, and okay. then they can use the deck for All it. All right, I'll make sure I let them know. Absolutely. So what do you think we should expect for a life expectancy for this? Well, any deck just like this is exposed to all the elements. They should be looking to refinish the deck within a year, year and a half. Okay. So to keep this nuts, it's beautiful looks. This is the amount of time they should. Uh, Better to do a little year. bit frequently than wait till it gets and then have to sand it back down again. Absolutely. Yeah. Saves time and money. So every year or so when we do this, do we have to sand right back down to bare wood? Not really, because if you maintain this deck like every year, every year and a half, all you got to do is just lightly sand, just in case you see something in it. Yeah. And you're all set and ready to apply the finish over and enjoy it. Nice. So the nice part about all this color variation is if we did have to replace a board, it really wouldn't, you'd never know that it was a new board because of all the different color variation you have with this. Absolutely, this is the whole beautiful mahogany deck. Boards are not exactly the same color, right. they vary. You get brownish, reddish, you get some uh, little whitish ones. Yep. Uh, it's all part of the blend in. All right, Marl. I think that looks as good as the day it went down. You bet. All right. Hey, well, thanks for watching another series of Pro to Pro, and thanks for Festool for sponsoring us. And Mauro, your team did a great job. They look great. All right, I'm Jeff Sweener. And I'm Mauro Henrique. And we'll see you next time. You ready to start the other side? Let's do it.